Well, Lewis, uh, not too many players can say they made their international debut at Wembley Stadium. Talk us through that experience. Yeah, oh, look, obviously a very special day, a very special occasion at one of the world's biggest stages in football. So, look, it's just a coincidence that my opportunities come at a time like this. But obviously I'm grateful for Graham Arnold for giving me that opportunity. And uh, like I said, I was, I was on for 20 minutes and it was, it was a tough and intense 20 minutes. Um, and I felt really confident and the boys felt confident and you look, we created a lot of chances there as well. So overall, I think a very, very positive and great day for myself. Yeah. Obviously, you had a, a couple of tough opponents as well, uh, Ollie Watkins and uh, uh, Marcus Rashford uh, as well uh, to contend with. How did you find that? Yeah, of course. Obviously, they're some of the biggest names in football, well-known, playing in the best leagues in the world. But I'm trying to compete with them, and at the end of the day, I can't look at them at superstars. I have to see them as levels, because at the end of the day, they're the shoes I want to be in. So I'm just going to have to keep thriving in Scotland or for Australia, wherever I go, and work my upper size as I possibly can. What was going through your mind when you got the uh, the nod from Graham Arnold? Talk us through that moment. Yeah, look, I was just sitting down. He's turned around, looked at me, gave me a little wink and said, get up. And obviously from there, the adrenaline started kicking in. I went out, started doing 20 sprints on the side there. So yeah, I was ready for the opportunity. And like I said, very, very happy. What was going through your mind at that moment when your number went up? Oh, well, look, when the number went up, you kind of just soak it all in, you stand there, look across the field, you look around the stadium, see what, 70 plus thousand people there, which is an opportunity of a lifetime. There's a lot of people that would like to be in their shoes and I'm lucky enough to fill them, so I'm grateful for everything that I've been given and i just got to keep going now. I think there was a bit of a delay too, you were standing there waiting for a while. Yeah, yeah, there was three of us. The ball wouldn't go out for about five minutes, so we were all just stretching on the sidelines, trying to stay warm and then obviously when the time came we got on. The game itself uh, created plenty of opportunities. Do you feel like uh, you should have walked away with something? Yeah, look, it's. I, I, I would. I would say that, even though it was such obviously a great opposition. But if you look back, the first half was quite even, and the second half, I think near the near the back end, there we just got chance after chance. We hit the post a few times. And I feel like it could have been it could have been our game to win. To be completely honest, we had a lot of a lot of big opportunities. Obviously, they had opportunities on their end as well, but obviously great defending on our behalf, which all comes through the communication of the back line. Just like I said, we have unbelievable plays in our team. So, But, yeah, it was a very, very even game, and I think could have got, got away with at least a point. As I said at the start, it's not every uh, player that can say they made their debut at Wembley, but um, just talk to us about your your thoughts on becoming a Socceroo. What does that mean to you tonight? I've just rep represented a whole country, putting this badge on which is you can't you can't put into words you're representing everyone back home my family my friends my loved ones like it's just surreal like i i generally can't explain it it's it means so much to put on the badge and that's why i told you last interview that i was just i've never been so excited being caught up when i got the message on the phone i knew what i had an idea and i pictured what it would be like but this has just exceeded all my expectations so very, very happy to be here. Another important game coming up in a very short period of time. Uh, looking ahead to New Zealand, I, I'm sure you want to be part of that. Uh, what are your expectations there? Yeah, look, another derby, obviously. It's going to be fiery. Um, I think this is great, a great mark, a great standard for us to set going into the next game. Um, like I said, they're going to want it more than anything as well. They're going to come out and give 120%. We're going to have to go to the chalkboard, look at the tactics, which I think we've done superbly today as well, which we locked them out quite a bit. So I'm assuming we'll do the same for New Zealand and carry on and hopefully get the win. You've been working for this day for your whole career. Do you feel like you belong now? What are your longer term ambitions? Yeah, well, like I said, we'd love to feel belong. It's, it's one game, right? I've played 20 minutes, but I've got to be realistic and that, that's not enough for me to stay here. So I've got to keep going at it game by game and just getting better and better. And I think the longer I stay here, the better and better I'm going to get. So.